The renovation of the Southern Park Mall began today. It's starting with a total makeover at what used to be the Sears end, but will eventually include the entire mall itself. As part of the renovation, an area will be named after the man who originally built the mall. That's Ed DeBartlow Sr. With what happened today, here's First News anchor Stan Boney. With the sound of metal against brick, ceremonial shovels of demolition began today at Boardman's Southern Park Mall. The start of what's being described as a major renovation of the mall. Mr. DeBartlow had the vision for the last 50 years, and you all have the vision for the next 50 years. It's, it's a renovation of the entire asset. Lou Conforti, CEO of the Columbus-based Washington Prime Group, was at today's ceremony. He said the former Sears property will be replaced with a large green space. Washington Prime provided pictures showing an area for concerts and a soccer field. Another picture showed what's being described as an entertainment hub, which will include restaurants, bars, and an indoor golf entertainment center. It will be called DeBartolo Commons after Ed DeBartolo Sr., who built the Southern Park Mall. This is going to be a giant green space with a bandstand, a stage, where we're just going to do cool events. Matt Jerkowitz is Washington Prime's Vice President of Real Estate Development. We think this is going to be, uh, you know, an entertainment district on its own. I've seen the plans and, I mean, they look fantastic. Tom Gober owns Gracie Lane Gift Shop and has had a store at Southern Park for 11 years. And as long as they do what they say they're going to do, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I mean, we're extending our lease for another year. And As far as the rest of the mall, Washington Prime is committed to making a significant investment. I think it's fair to say that um, you know, 30 million is not outside the realm of what we're planning to do. Among the renovations will be new entrances and changes to the interior to make the mall more relevant for both shoppers and tenants. Make spaces that folks want to be in and, and go to, and part of that is making them more inviting to the public. No one from Washington Prime would say what the new restaurants, bars, or tenants would be. They only promised there would be other announcements forthcoming in the future. In Boardman, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.